Cycle Bike Life here. Wanted to give all you doomsday preppers out there a little idea. I've seen several videos where people are making uh, bicycles for the, you know, SHTF, which a lot of people think is coming. Maybe it is, maybe it ain't. But do I have a bicycle for you? I've seen people make different versions and they're using rear racks and panniers and they're hooking trailers to it and there's nothing wrong with that I mean a trailer would work the only problem with the trailer is the more wheels you have the more tires and tubes you need in case something happens also the more uh, wheels you would need in case one gets tweaked but I have this beautiful bicycle right here that would work just as well and we're going to start on this side over here, and I'm going to show you why this would make a, a really good bike for that purpose. If you look right up front here, we got a triple chain ring. You got one, two, three. Three chain rings right there. Okay? You see the three chain rings? And then if you look back here, you can see it real good. There's ten. 10 different cogs right there, all the way down to that itty bitty one down there. Okay? So that means you got a 10 by 3 system, which means you have 30 different gear configurations. Okay? This is a cargo bike. It is the Surly Big Dummy. It is 7.5 feet long. Okay? And the reason that I think this would make a really good end of the world bicycle is because if you look right over here, I have attached two medium Alice packs to it instead of the bags that came with it. The bags that came with it are great and they would work also. But for all you preppers out there who might want to use Alice packs or something like that, I've just simply zip tied them on there with only one zip tie each, which if it were a situation where I was going to keep them on there, it wouldn't be fast enough with one zip tie each. But a medium Alice pack, I mean, we all know how much room there is in those there's a lot of room in those and you could get four of those on there and having alice packs would be good because if you had the straps to go with them and let's say for some reason you had to abandon the bicycle you could cut the alice packs loose and have a backpack whereas the big dummy bags that come with this you would not be able to carry them as easily as you would an alice pack and I've equipped my Alice pack with uh, quick releases all the, way, all the way around. And this deck up here, right here, is just sitting on there. But you can load 200 pounds of gear on the back of this bicycle. That's how much weight this thing can carry. So if you got a lot of stuff, if you got a 70 pound pack, I don't think you want to be toting that around in your back all the time because that's that's a lot of weight to carry i've marched with 40 pounds and 40 pounds will wear you out after a while 70 pounds 60 pounds the heavier it gets the harder it is you could let the bicycle do the work for you the other good thing about this bicycle is that now these are these are homemade and i have other videos that you can see these in but these are my homemade wide loaders. You see that? There's a tube right there and a tube on the back right there. And what you can do is you just slide these in. Now, if you look, you got an extension. So if you got some real heavy duty stuff on there, and there's a there's a hole back here i don't have it lined up properly right at this point oh man but there's pins that go in these this may be the one for the opposite side i just slid it in there so you can get a demo but you can have wide loaders on there and that allows you to have something for if you got your bags you know won't hang down they can rest on this you can even ride a person on the back of that with that plate that you know my top plate just fell off but it would make a great end of the world vehicle because you don't need gas all you got to have is some food and water and you can definitely carry a bunch of gear on this 
So, in my opinion, the Surly Big Dummy would make a great, you know, SHTF bicycle. And you'd only have two wheels, and they're 26 inch wheels, which is a very common size for a bicycle. So, in the aftermath, if you needed parts, you'd probably be able to come across wheels, tires, tubes fairly easily from just stuff that was laying around. The only thing that you would want to have extra is uh, a cable set because you need a tandem cable to put to the rear derailleur and you need a tandem brake cable for the rear brake because of the length of the frame. You can't just use standard ones. They, they're they not long enough. So if you just you know get some of those, well you still can if you had this bike and carry a few extra cables with you then you'd be all set. The front derailleur and the front brake you could probably use a regular size um, just a regular cable. But I just thought you might you might enjoy that. All of you preppers out there, nothing wrong with being prepared. And if you needed a if you want to see what the original Surly bags are like, I have a video on my channel all about the bike, about the bags, about what I carry. You can get a lot of gear in those Surly bags. But like I said, if you have to stop for any reason, these wouldn't be a bad idea to have. Or you could just use the Surly bags and throw a backpack on top. But just thought it might be a good idea for an end of the world bicycle. And this is Cargo Bike Life signing out. Y'all have a good day and ride safe.